Welcome to the channel. This is a bonus video. This is one of the special videos where we do something a little bit different from playing games. Today, on this channel, we are going to be unboxing a Spectrum Next. And look at that on the box. Tape cutting error 01. Do not open with sharp instrument. We must not do that. We could obviously injure what is inside. But no, this is a Spectrum Next Mark II, which came from the second Kickstarter that literally arrived yesterday. Let's go on a journey together and see how brilliant this machine is. So here we are ready to go to open this box here. I very carefully scoured the edges of the boxes so it will open and this is us opening it for the first time. So what is inside the box? Oh, more cardboard, more cardboard. We very carefully do this. And this is gonna be a thing of beauty, you just know it is. That lifts off. And inside, inside is the Spectrum Next. So we are going to carefully get this out of the box to then open up the main box itself. And here we are, and this is the Spectrum Next box. You know, look how good this is. You know, it, it, it looks like it belongs on the shelf of a shop. It really, really does. Very, very professionally done. The first one, the first Kickstarter was professionally done, but you know, this looks just as good. And on the flip side, without dropping anything here, you know, we can see exactly what it says. ZX Spectrum Next, prepare to fall in love with a computer all over again. You've got pictures of games on the back. You know, you've got baggers in space, you've got bikers, you've got Delta Shadow, Head Over Hills, Next Draw, Next Night, The Way of the Exploding Fist, TX1696 Wonderland, and Xeno Brigade. And you know, it looks absolutely fabulous. You know, hook up to a modern monitor or TV to get started rediscovering what computing is really about. And for those of you that are my age of a similar age, you know, you will think ZX Spectrum on Christmas Day. And this is ZX Spectrum on Christmas Day. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna very carefully scour, I think, the, uh, the, the the outside of this package in here because you know we want to very carefully open the box and we will do this together. We will do this together. Actually there will be an there will be an edge bit that we can do somewhere. Here we go. Right, that's all we need to do because we do not want to scuff the box. We do not want to damage the box in any shape or form. And this will just peel off lovely. It's always a pleasure to unwrap stuff. You know, this is like TVs on a TV where you pull off the cellophane on the front screen and stuff like that. You know, it just really is. But yeah. The ZX Spectrum Next, you know, and personal computer here. I think there's a slight difference on this box. I think the original version had a blue light there. I could be mistaken, I could be mistaken. But let's carefully open this together. Three, two, one, what's in the box? And look at that. You have a Sinclair Spectrum Next and this box of goodies. So let's look at the box of goodies first. You know, you've got a nice Apple type box. You know, th this box looks like it should have been made by Apple with how sleek it is. You know, you can think that you have maybe an Apple watch or something else like that in here. And inside, we've got the Sinclair ZX Spectrum X branded power supply. And look, they've got a little on off switch here as well. This bit I think is new. I don't believe they had that on the original Kickstarter. I'm sure that I bought that separately. You've got plugs for whatever region you may come from you know you got this type of plug here didn't mean to throw that on the desk you've got that type of plug here you know who knows what country they're from the only one we care about is the british plug is the british plug that you've got here and yes a modular power supply there and then you've got the zx spectrum next itself um it looks absolutely fantastic let's try and carefully get this out 
It fits so tight, it's such a snug fit. And yeah, very, very slim as you can see. Um, you know, you've got the two joystick ports on the back, or two on the front, Joy 1, Joy 2. You've got all your control buttons here, you've got your SD card in there, you've got your interface, uh, or your multi-face type there as well. Um, on the back, we have got a selection of ports, so you know, we've got the power, we've got digital void video debug, a couple of USB ports there, digital video, ear and mic, audio out, RGB VGA, and effectively uh, keyboard and mouse, and yeah, that's about it. You know, it feels, it feels absolutely lovely, and the key presses, you know, they, they're, they're, oh lord, it's, it's like having a, you know, one of the, 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 the Spectrum Pluses again, it really is, you know, it, and it, it looks, it looks absolutely gorgeous, you know, it really, really does. So let's put that over there for a moment. Elsewhere in the box, we have a quick start. Now, I think this is new. I don't know if they had this before, but look how, holy hell. You know, this is just really, really glossy and nice. I don't know whether it shows on the camera, but yeah, this is really professionally made. And yeah, okay, uh, da -da -da. yes, it looks good. It looks really, really good. Now this has to be new because you know, they've got the picture here of uh, this this wired connector here, you know, that, that we showed here, the one that I'm just flipping over there. And yes, that's new here. All right, and then we have the manual. So I think, yes, that lifts out, that lifts out. And then inside we've got the manual. Now, the original Spectrum Next manual was in black and white. This one, is in color. You know, there was definitely a color picture that we saw there. And yes, you can see color in here. Yeah, you know, to have a ring bound manual like this, yeah, you know, feels, as I say, very much like Spectrum Days back in the day, back in the day. But we're gonna go further than this now. So what you're not gonna see is you're not gonna see it all plugged in and turned on, but we're gonna carry on the video using this particular, this very, Spectrum Next that we've got here. We're going to use this exact machine on the video um, and do some playing around with it. And I'll, I'll show you a couple of things, a couple of games and a couple of bits and pieces with it so you can see this for yourself. But what I'm seeing at the moment, what I'm seeing at the moment, I absolutely love what I see. And the big question, the big question is why? Why would I order another one of these when I've already got an original Spectrum Next? And yes, I can do Spectrum stuff on the Mr. FPJ. Well, I am very slowly, really slowly, writing a game on the Spectrum Next. The game is based on, there's a game I love on the Sinclair Spectrum called Gangsters, but I always believed, I always believed that I could do Gangsters better. And I used to play a play-by-mail game called It's a Crime. So I've taken a bit of inspiration from there as well. And I'm slowly merging them together. I may, may not show you some of that later on in this video. But for the time being, you know, we need to be looking at this beast. Seeing how good it is. And, you know, we will certainly do that on the video. But yeah, they have hit it out of the park with this. This is a Kickstarter that has been absolutely well worth waiting for with what they've delivered on the Spectrum Next so far. Absolutely brilliant. So here we are. This is the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Next that you can see down here. I will tell a truth. I have powered it on once, literally just once. When this system boots the ZX Spectrum Next, it comes through a display setup where you can cycle the resolution, the setup you want, and you hit enter on the one you want, effectively you see the test card. In fact, you know, let me, let me, let me just show you the video of that happening right now. So, when you say yes on that test card, it then boots effectively into the instruction message, the welcome message, the beginning message that you've got here. I had to do this beforehand because I wanted to make sure that the Spectrum Next was gonna work for this particular video, all the setup that we're doing here, and if it broke, that would be very upsetting. It comes with this little adapter. This little adapter is actually new. It's a breakout adapter, so this is your main power supply. It plugs straight into here, and you have a very nifty 
on off switch this did not come with the original one so for the first time for this video let's power it on to see what we've got you can see Eligato, no signal on my screen here at the moment. A word of warning with this, this is the capture card that I use. Sometimes that pops up on any system that I use when a resolution changes or maybe a refresh rate changes or something like that. That's the nature of my setup. That's the nature of how I've got things um, set up and working. So yeah, if that does happen, do not worry about that. There is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong with the Sinclair Spectrum Next. Right, so let's fire up. Three, two, one, boom, and away we go. I'm expecting the welcome message to appear in a moment's time. If it doesn't, something has gone wrong. So there we go, Sinclair Spectrum next, flushes away, and this is welcome to Next ZX OS. I am not gonna read all of this to you, but you can get the latest software from HTTPS www.specdex.com, latest distro, that's there. Um, you can space through here, and it gets to the main screen. Um, and these are the credits for it, it looks very much like a Spectrum 128K. Now, the key thing here is this has got 1792K worth of memory. This is a 2048 model, 2048K. Um, the original version of the Spectrum Next, the first Kickstarter, did not come with the upgraded memory. I had to upgrade that myself on mine. Wonderful, wonderful that all of this is now thrown in together. It really, really is. So, what are we gonna do? I think we need to have a look at a browser. So we have an SD card and the SD card is basically located on the left hand side of the system. And this is effectively a hard drive for it. And all of this, you know, will look familiar if you've got the original spectrum, but you know, it's, they have some extras. I hope it's gonna have some extras. Actually, the top of the screen here looks a little bit different. So order name, mix, search, name, area, info. It looks like there's been a bit of a change within this browser. So the first thing I think we want to do is we want to set up the Wi-Fi on this device. This device is Wi-Fi enabled. So if we go into apps and we go down to Wi-Fi and we are going to go into setup and here we are, we've got Wi-Fi.base. So we hit that and this loads a basic program. You can see the basic program there and we're going to type run to do this. And you'll notice if you've owned the original Spectrum, you've got new commands there like procedures. They didn't exist on the original ZX Basic, but this is seriously enhanced. You know, steroids have been taken in terms of, you know, the new things that are there. So we hit run, and it queries the Wi-Fi, so that shows that it's working. And we want to list networks, so we're gonna do five to see what we've got. This is gonna do a quick scan of the networks so that they can see locally. And I've set up a very special network to do this demo on. And can you guess what it is? Yes, it's ZX Spectrum Next. So we're going to hit return here and we're going to do set SSID and it was uh, ZX. This feels so good to type on, you know, it really does feel like, you know, the, the spectrums of old. It really does. ZX Spectrum next. And the password was, now this could be challenging because I can't remember where everything is. Uh, symbol shift, there we go. No, we don't want those characters. No. Good Lord. There we go. Took a little while to get that sorted, didn't it? So the password is dollar one password. Remember that. So it should be doing it now. Okay, and it's connected there, and I've got an IP address of 192.168.123. So we can do manual IP on manual DNS. If you're at home and you don't know much about networking, probably the thing you want to do is set automatic. IP and DNS, so we'd hit number four there. And that should be fine. So if we do quit to leave there, and then we can just reboot the spectrum. Reboot the spectrum. In the background, we've been doing a little bit of prep work. So this ZX Spectrum Next came with this SD card. We've taken a lot of files from my original ZX Spectrum Next and put them on here. So I'm gonna pop this back in and it slides gently in. There is no spring or anything, but it is rather 
a firm connection and now we've got a whole load of new additional files but we've also been doing some work on the spectrum itself let me show you so we're just powering it up at the moment and we wait again for a moment for it to boot um, the last thing you would have seen is us set up the Wi-Fi and that's a really really important step for what we're doing now with the Wi-Fi set up um, I've actually changed the date so we've got the first of the first 201846 that is clearly wrong um, we need to adjust this and we need to fix this but we don't want to be doing this every single time you turn on the spectrum no it sends you insane so if you go to command line and you type this in 10 um, where's the full stop uh, dot nxtp space time dot nextel dot org space one two three zero zero space minus where is minus minus z equals GMT then you hit return then you type in 20 erase and if you type in list you've basically got a small program that has these two lines here and then we need to save this so if we do save that's not save save speech marks uh, C colon where is the colon there it is C colon forward slash um, next ZXOS uh, let's do another forward slash then auto EXEC dot bass and we close the speech marks space very important line 10 so what the line 10 does here is it saves a file and it says I automatically want you to run at line 10 so remember if we can go back um we can't really go back here but remember that was the year 2000 the time and date was set to i'm going to reboot the spectrum by powering off and we will power on just to do a hard proper reboot here and watch very carefully as it boots so something flashed up you didn't quite see what it was there but if we do a reset there we go so the wi-fi is initialized and it is now set to the 17th of the 12th 2023 at 1849 that ladies and gentlemen is how if you've got wi-fi set up on your zx spectrum next you can now have effectively time and date as well to always always be correct other things i've done in the background is I connected this mouse this is a PS2 mouse look shaky things inside but an Intel PS2 mouse and maybe we can find something that actually works with it because I want to test to see whether the mouse works but let's just browse around and see and see what we have got let's go down to Jane games GPC because yeah why do you have this well you know you have it for the classic game so let's try loading in first of all from a snapshot the kind of games that you see here so we're going to go to classic and we're going to tape and you know let's just do let's just do you know what we're going to pick jetpack i think we've got a good reason to pick jetpack so let's pick jetpack oh no 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 i was trying to type jetpack then and that went a bit wrong here we go jetpack so we want to load it in 48k mode And bang is there we have jetpack and we can start the game and our jetman is there but what else can we do let's do a reset and let me show you something else so this on the camera now is an Arduino tape drive you can see it's got a game there it's scrolling across we're gonna cheat a little bit in terms of loading this in we are not going to use a real tape drive you know an old one to get out the tapes but this is a digital file it will work exactly the same by loading off here so i don't know whether we can, uh, you can see this here actually what we need to do is we need to get to the loader on the spectrum and we're going to hit play on here and it will load the tape in so if i cursor down 
some more and I do tape loader let's do tape loader and we want to load in 48k mode so there we go and notice they've got the C for load code as well so that works nicely and we're ready to go let's hit play doesn't that sound sweet So yes, we're going to sit here while the game loads in. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to have a general pause, and you know when the when when the when the title screen is there, I will then fast forward the video just a little bit, um, so that you know you're, you're not sat here thinking, dear God, he's going to load a whole game. But on the plus side, this was a 16k game and it was a 48k game um, as well, so 16k games loading quick. But look at this incredible to be loading in tapes and this is a tape image taken from the original game um, and it works perfectly fingers crossed you know I've got to say you know this this is pretty damn good this it actually gives you the percentage of how it's loading in as well so you can see it doing it so this is pretty good this little tape drive here it shows you the percentage of it loading the tape in 75 76 percent so you can always see how well it's doing but I wanted to load a real game I wanted to load something real into this system so you could see it so there we go started so if we do start game you know there are there's our little spaceman he's going to appear and there we go this yes I've done it wrong I've done it wrong right let's grab that let's drop that grab that one drop that one grab that drop that and yeah jetpack works so you know I wanted to show you a game loading in from tape how it was but what about some of the other games what about some of the special things on the Sinclair Spectrum back at the browser it's now time to have a look at a few things that is on the SD card so we go into the browser and again we were at jetpack a moment ago so we're back at jetpack again so if we go all the way to the top lots of left button and then we hit that so we hit that we hit that we hit that we hit that. that's probably a quicker way but hey that works for me and let's look at kickstart to extras so we've got a few things here but videos what is videos you know what let's fire it up let's have a look and see what videos are so KS2 vid, okay. Oh, it's a video player for the Spectrum. There is an alternative timeline where Sinclair carried on working on the ZX Spectrum. It created a new machine capable of rivaling the likes of the Amiga or the Atari ST. What would the machine look like? What it would be capable of doing? What it would be like to use such a computer? This is the ZX Spectrum Next, the official successor to the original Sinclair machine, built and designed by a community of engineers and developers that love the Spectrum to this very day. Together, we packed a host of new features into it to make it into a computer you could use today. After the original success of the first Kickstarter campaign, we shipped more than 3,000 Spectrum Next to the backers, and after that, started developing the capabilities of the machine way beyond the expectations of the original backer. So that's kind of amazing. Obviously, we're not looking at the whole video that's there, but bloody hell, it plays videos. Now, as a game developer, think of the ability you've got now to have proper, decent cutscenes. You know, you've got no memory problems because you're running off an SD card where storage is effectively unlimited. The doors that this opens is something else. So thank you, Henrik, for that. Okay, so let's go back here. And we've got Night Night. What's Night Night? Well, dot next is an executable for the ZX Spectrum. Next, it's a binary file. We fire that up and the game loads in. Look at that. Doesn't that look quite pretty? All right. And it's got sound. It's got sound as well. Okay, let's turn it up just a little bit so you can hear it. And remember, we're on a ZX Spectrum next here. Let's start the game. So, what have we got? I think we just start new. No. Here we go. Space. OK. 
Okay, so it's clear. Platforms change colours. Good lord, is this Cuba? Oh. Oh. Okay. So left, right, and jump. Okay, rather cute. And the sounds are the sounds are good as well. This is quite nice. Or well, we might need to play this on the channel properly. Door open. Oh, no, okay, key. Stage clear, well done. Okay, more of the same, which obviously gets a little bit more complicated. So, let's do a reboot and look at something else. So, back into the browser, and we will go, and let's go to Games GPC in Classic Unsorted. So, let's pick one of the fancy Manic Miners from Happy Coding. Here we are, that one will do. So, 1 to 8K mode. Yes, it looks like it works. And I love this version because of the way that we've played this on the channel, the way the torch shows, the way it looks, you know, it's, it's a good game, it's a good game. All right, so let's give it our best shot. My throat's going a little bit. to get okay we can safely say that works let's do a reboot and look at another game so browser let's go all the way back and let's go to our next game and let's pick Attic Attack. Okay. I never did believe in ghosts or monsters. Not until now. Not until the main doors of the castle closed and locked themselves behind me. So this is just a story, but a nice intro. So space. Okay, let's define keys. Up, down, left, right, fire, drop can be space. H can be pause. All right, and we will be the knight. Oh, it's big. Oh, look at this. I did not expect this. I expected the, the, the single view, not a room that was scrolling. Oh, this is lovely. Big stairs. This actually makes it a bit harder because you know what? You can see less of the rooms. Let's try and get to the cabins. Oh, and we're there. We are there. Oh, dear lord. Look, a torch, a torch. Okay. Very nice. But let's play something else. I 
Okay, let's let's look at one of the new next games that I got. No, wrong one. Here we go, Saboteur. Incognito games. Q, A, O, P, and space. Right, let's start the mission. Oh, look at this, pretty, pretty. Never mind, doggy's gonna kill me. fast oh and I died how's that for timing how's that for timing all right let's reset and try something else here we go the latest version of lockdown town from putty cat and a hundred tin soldiers I did so bad on this when I played it before. I thought, yeah, we're gonna do a next video. Let's give this a quick go here. See if I can do any better. This version is an updated version and it adds skill levels. It says normal there for the moment. We're gonna leave it at that, but we will redefine the keys and we will go up, down, left, right, and fire, and then pause. All right, fire to start the game. We'll have two games of this see how we do okay so we got one delivered damn it one more game ah oh, bollocks died so quick I died so quick all right so there's one more thing to show you, I think. So we've shown you some games, we've shown you the Wi-Fi setup, we've shown you that it works as a Spectrum and the enhanced Spectrum Nexus. We've shown you the um, time, the time of day setup. What we haven't shown you is how to configure the finer details of the machine. So you need to do a hard reboot for this. So I'm powering off now and I'm powering on and I'm holding space down. Or I'm pressing space as it boots. There we go. So, you briefly saw a menu there where you could pick your cores. Um, it takes a little while to appear because I'm using a capture card for this. But this is where you can set up things such as your mouse, your joysticks, what you want them set to, and a few other bits and pieces. So this is a hidden menu as the device boots. Um, you can't get into this any other way that I'm aware of. You have to do it as it's booting, literally um, from a hard reboot. You can then go in and make the changes that you want. So we can change this to uh, their, their, their space. So we can make one of Kempston 1. And we'll make this one of Kempston 2. In fact, they can both be Kempston 1, it doesn't matter. Kempston 1, yeah, perfect. And then enter to accept the changes. And we're back at that menu and this is the one that we quickly saw so yeah um, if I hit space again it should reboot it no okay maybe not it's been a while it's been a while hit return hit return and it does it so yeah the green screen is where you can hit enter to reboot space to go in and configure but yeah this is now set up on the front two ports to be using a Kempston joystick that's it I think that is all I've got to show you. 
So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. This is a glorious, glorious system. You know, the Spectrum Next is a wonderful, wonderful machine. You know, there's uh, a lot of work that's actually gone into this video to get things to do bits and pieces for you. This is built up, just so you know, of multiple chunks of videos edited together over the course of Sunday. I was trying to get this out so it released on Sunday, but no, we're actually a day late. So um, at the beginning where I said it arrived yesterday, we're now a couple of days down the line. But all of you stay safe. All of you take care. I'm so pleased to have this in the bag. I'm so pleased to own this Spectrum Next as well. I'm really, really pleased to own this. Now, couldn't be happier. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. This one is coming out on Monday. I need to go and have a drink. Goodbye, good night, see you soon.